Hi everybody, it is day 17 of Savor at Home and I felt like trying something nice and smoky today. So we are going with Ardbeg. Um, Ardbeg is known for being very, very smoky. This is Ardbeg Cory Reckon. Uh, it is 57.1% ABV, so it's uh, got quite a kick to it. Um, and it's named after this whirlpool that is above uh, the Isle of Isla. Um, so Ardbeg, if you've never heard of it, is an Isla Scotch whiskey. Um, this is a Isla single malt, so everything that's in here is made entirely at Ardbeg. Um, start to finish and aged for at least three years. Notice there's no age statement on the bottle. So it's aged for at least three years in order to be considered a scotch. So uh, Ardbeg is self-proclaimed to be the most phenolic malt in the business. Um, and we talked a little bit about phenols before. This is the peatiness, the smokiness that you get. So Ardbegs are known for being really, really smoky. Um, the the malt that they get is malted in uh, the village of Port Ellen, um, and then they bring it to the Ardbeg distillery for fermentation, distillation, maturation, um, and it's peated to 50 ppm's. So um, the amount of phenols that's in there makes up 50 parts per million um, of that malt. Um, they, they claim to do a relatively long fermentation at Ardbeg. However, they don't disclose how long that is exactly. And then they do a double-ish distillation. Um, so the first distillation is a normal low wines distillation where uh, they bring the low wines to about 24% ABV. However, the second distillation is where it gets a little tricky. They both recycle the four shots and the tails of this distillation back into the still. Um, this allows you to extract out some more of the flavors um, and, and hopefully get a higher yield of alcohol this way. Um, there's also what they call a purifier in the line arm. So if you ever look at a pot still, uh, it's got the horizontal arm. Sometimes it's not quite horizontal, but the horizontal arm that comes out right before the condenser um, where uh, they have a purifier in there to kind of capture uh, again, more of those impurities and it kind of acts as a, um, a, a little bit of a reflux. Um, yeah, I, I can dive into that a little bit more if anyone's really interested. Um, most of Ardbeg's whiskeys are matured in ex-bourbon casks uh, for the uh, Cory Vrecken. Uh, this is aged in both ex-bourbon casks and new French oak casks, which is kind of cool. So we should expect some spiciness from this one. Um, this bottle you should be able to pick up for about 80 to $90, I believe. So let's dive right in. I'm excited. And I'm drinking it out of an Ardbeg glass. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so it's got a nice golden color to it. So in the nose, you're getting so much of that peatiness, which is, you know, really nice. That's exactly what I'm going for today. There's some subtle hints of like apricots and some roasted nuts in there. A little like sausage thing as well, a little savoriness. Yeah, but a lot, a lot, a lot of smokiness, some honey. Um, not getting too much baking spice on the nose, but all right. Lucy, would you like to try? No? No? Okay, thank you.
So again, lots and lots of peat, um, some really nice roastiness in here um, that's separate from the peat. Now at 57%, you should, there is a little bit of heat to it. Um, so really letting it sit on your palate will help with that, will help alleviate um, the heat. It's not quite as silky as I would want it, but I'm really enjoying the flavors. Um, beyond the peatiness, I am picking up some of that baking spice, which is nice. Um, a little bit of that honey and that vanilla, uh, but it is, it's a, a nice peaty whiskey. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Very subtle fruits in the beginning, um, mostly mostly smokiness, but I feel like it's a it's a really nice whiskey. So if you really enjoy Ardbegs and you haven't had this one yet, go ahead and uh, check it out. I'd recommend it. But yeah, thanks guys.